Welcome to AMI Sites, a podcast that offers you access to thought leaders who can help you expand your entrepreneurial toolbox. Learn from seasoned entrepreneurs who have already walked in your shoes and can help you with your day-to-day business decisions. With your host, Ami Kassar. Ami is the founder and CEO of Multifunding, an advisory company that helps you grow and stay in control of your business. Well, being a, an innovation you know, fan and, and, and student, um, I, I, I'm always experimenting. Like during, before, after, I, I look, it doesn't, it's not COVID specific. I'm always trying new stuff. And, and what I find is that very often when you try 10 new things, eight don't work out and, and maybe two do. And so I think that's true in COVID. You know, we tried something that didn't work out. We tried a couple of things that will sustain. Um, I'll keep trying new things. So to me, it's not even COVID specific, but, but I try to embrace a mindset of, of experimentation. One of my phrases that I share all the time that I really try to live is one called break it to fix it, which is essentially this notion that it, instead of just relying on things that the way they were that have yielded success in the past, proactively examining what, what might be working fine on the surface and, and deconstructing it and finding new ways to, to move forward and upgrade and change and sort of it's like forced reinvention. It's funny, many of us are, are uh, reluctant to change because we feel that's risky. But to me, there's way more risk in standing still than, than, than trying something uh, new. And uh, it's funny, you know, and, and the, the phrase, break it to fix it, I, I came up with because We've all heard the, the comment, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And, and like, who came up with that? That's the dumbest line ever. Like, I want to strangle the person that invented that line because just think about how silly that is. Like, why would you wait until something is broken before getting on with an upgrade? And I think COVID forced many of us to confront change and, and to, to lean in, maybe perhaps accelerate transformation. But, but that, that's actually a healthy habit. So the one thing I think that we can all learn from COVID is that we don't have to wait till, till some external forces have been thrust upon us. We can embrace that mindset of experimentation and change, whether or not there's a pandemic. Thanks for joining us today on AMI Sites with your host, AMI Kassar, the foremost SBA thought leader. Make sure you visit us at multifunding.com where you can meet our advisory team and learn more about how we help entrepreneurs fund their future.